Hello guys and welcome to episode 50, the uh, last episode of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. So at the end of the last episode I, uh, I did reference whether or not like this episode would be the last and after grinding some, playing some, and by some I mean a lot as you can see, and that's not even half of it really. Uh, I have decided that this will definitely be the last episode and it will be a lot shorter than the rest of the episodes simply because there is essentially nothing left to do. Choose like, I a could, destination. I could go through the Carnage Dimension and just do all the things again, but it doesn't do a new story or whatnot. Um, the only thing that I could really imagine doing, because there's not even strategy assembly or any, like, story-ish quests, uh, to go through, like, there's nothing, uh, would be to, uh, defeat, uh, the Super Overlord Ball. But, I honestly don't think that I would be able to do that, even in my wildest dreams, without spending hours and hours and hours uh, grinding over and over and over again just to finish the uh, finish the series on a super high note. Uh, so I decided that I was just going to come in and end it today and try one last time with my upgrade characters to do it. So as you can see, in uh, honor of it being the last episode, and I have Kilia much higher than every other person level 9,999. Uh, uh, we can just go through. You can see that Kilia is in the millions of stats for his attack. He has uh, multiple millions of health. Uh, and uh, I got him quite a few uh, abilities, many of them unique, because I mastered several of the classes. I didn't do all of them, uh, but when you master a class you're able to use that class's unique ability. Um, so we have Kilia, the kind-hearted overlord of cryoblood and heir of the ultimate demon technique. He has grown to accept his past. Um, and I did switch around the order of people, which I'll fix right now, because you know, it's the last, it's the last episode. So might as well have everyone in the correct order of appearance. And I did level essentially almost every uh, DLC character that I got to level 9,999 because I felt that it was only right for me to do so. Uh, I didn't level up uh, the pretty ones, as you could say. But uh, let's do a final honor to these characters and uh, go through, read their statuses. Uh, I did uh, get a few moves. I'm not going to do the uh, special skill exhibition because it would just take a long time. Uh, and I guarantee there are videos with all of that already out on YouTube because this guy at 5 came out in like 2014, so, or 2015. 20, yeah, I forget when it came out. But this version of it is literally just the same version, just different. Uh, the Princess Overlord of Gorgeous, who overcame her fear of being poor. She has faint feelings towards Kilia. The Overlord of Scorching Flame, who accepted his weak heart. He's still very violent, but he's a little nicer. A self-appointed Overlord, who lost his prejudice against demons. He's trying to keep his identity as an angel a secret. The Overlord of Toto Bunny. She has been freed from, freed by her parents' feelings. She turned the spell into her own power. An overlord who overcame his cheating and weak self. He is a practitioner of the ultimate demon technique. I don't really think he was cheating. He was just really cowardly. Uh, and witch from the swamp of Nibblehen. Her goal is to cover the world with swamps. She has a potty mouth. A famous overlord who's so cocky and powerful he's known on the other worlds. Rumor has it he spoils his daughter. Badass overlord Zeta's daughter from the future. She's polite for a demon, has shot beams from her eyes since age five. A young overlord who's very powerful. She is very high and mighty and hates to be insulted. She teases Zeta a lot. The founder of 
Ultimate Demon Technique. I'm surprised it's not the Ultimate Demon Technique. He is Kelia and Zoroken's master, and Lizarota and Void's father. An overlord who overcame his evil heart, he mastered the Ultimate Demon Technique. He adores his sister, Lizarota. A former demon general who revived from her own spell, she'll die if she doesn't grant Usalia's wishes. A mysterious girl of unknown status. Overlords respect her agility and combat skills. She travels the netherworlds. Harada's mascot. I believe that's the art director of the uh, game. I'm not really sure though. Has been getting more screen time lately. A regular contender on popularity polls. A promising printing instructor from Hades. Loves sardines. Rumored to actually have immense power that belies his position. A werewolf who works for Valvatoras. His catchphrase is, all is for my lord. Uses wind element specials. An angel tasked with collecting money that should go to Celestia. She is known by demons as the Angel of Avarice. A girl who only has a partial pretty skin, thinks her death is all a dream, wreaks havoc everywhere she goes with Desko. A girl created to destroy the world, her dream is to become a final boss, looks up to Fuka. Only son of former Netherworld President Hugo, he wants to be the next Netherworld President and works hard as death. The Overlord's heir, claims to be the strongest demon in the Netherworld, hates voluptuous women. Laharl's female form has the same personality, but she is much more popular. Laharl's vassal has a sharp tongue, admires King Krzyzewskoy. He is believed to treat Prinnies worse than anyone else. Angel trainee turned fallen angel, loves love and superhero shows, is trying to get demons to love. An angel girl from Celestia, an all-around hard worker, she seems to have a fixation on Prinnies. Very hot-blooded man who treasures his family. He has his own style. He and Rosalind have something going on. A sheltered princess. She is currently traveling with Adele, learning about the outside world. A dark hero who puts his family first. He has a lot of fans, thanks to his divine misunderstandings and positivity. Prieres form after falling to darkness. She travels the netherworlds for strong opponents. Her busty body is dangerous. Dean of Evil Academy. He researches evilness with his 1.8 million EQ. He puts hot sauce. He puts hot sauce on his sunny side up eggs. A delinquent teacher from Evil Academy. A super delinquent who does volunteer work and donates money and blood. Promoted from a hero wannabe to a real hero, he came to Evil Academy on his honeymoon, but became Mao's servant again. A princess from a certain kingdom. Though she married Almaz, she's still a killing machine. She wants to be the greatest. A senior at Evil Academy, and one of the legendary Diaz gentlemen. Her womanliness is currently missing. The human representative of NIS, a Howard of Justice. Don't mention her flat chest to her. And we have gone through all the main characters and all the DLC characters. The only ones that we didn't go through were the overlords. We got the quests, but that is fine. So awesome. I'll just show you uh, our final results, essentially. So capture squad full, interrogation squad full, innocent aid full, skill full, boot full, channeling full, early full, supply full, alchemy full, flatty almost full, giant full, asagi, eh, hunter full, foot full, cyber full, pretty full, Defense full, Dark Assembly full, Iron Adventure not full, Support full, Research full, Life full, Ability full, which I didn't explore any of these, unfortunately, because I was busy, I was busy grinding super hard, and Elite four full, which is very good for grinding, especially your stats, and Killia was the only one I would put in this one, and he's the only one that I would level with, really. Uh, Curry full. And you'll notice that no one has anyone, because I took them all out, because they're taking a rest. They're done with their work. And then oh, Innocence. I'm sad. I did learn that, uh... Um... Oh yeah, because I can't, I can only, uh, I can't look at the form without a person in it. But, uh, I did find best. out that having multiple max stacks of statisticians don't do anything, so... 900 is the max that you can have, uh, so that was my misunderstanding. And 
essentially by the end of all the quests and stuff, you'll be a you're able to have 200% of everything. What? And research. Um, we have 77 worlds, almost all of them complete, although we have two of this netherworld, and they're different leveled. Different levels. So, we have all these unique ones that you can't get rid of. We have a certain giant, another world filled with nature, owned by the Monkey King, who once contended for supremacy, supremacy against the Dragon Overlord. Just have all these. And we even have the Carnage Dimension, yeah, which, let's see this report. Might as well, uh... Let's, uh, see if there's anything new before I end the episode. Well, before I try to... <laughs> try to be ball. Unfortunately, there's no, like, super easy mode. Otherwise, I would put it on it and... Uh, hopefully stand a fighting chance. But... Uh, I probably don't, in all honesty. Because Ball, ever since, like, Disgaea 3, has essentially been the Disgaea boss. Where you're not really intended to win. And... Get that. things possible. So, with that, let's change. I had changed it to Kilia, but I do want to change it to something else, because I saw that we got a few from the dimension, uh, from the Carnage dimension. So I want to save with Lizaro to Dark, because that was the final boss. That was essentially where I believe that the, uh, the series ended because I showed you all the DLC because that's part of the complete. Otherwise, I would have just played the PS4 version, um, which may have been good because of all the crashes. Uh, the new patch seemed to have fixed like a lot of the problems. I haven't gotten a crash since it started or since the new patch is up. Uh, I just wish that came up earlier. So with that. Let's do it. Where would you like to go, dude? Celestial Hell. And in here. Just gonna skip that. And we have my sister. Sister. Oh, it looks like I lacked strength. Yeah, I'm really on it to make you happy. We have How Agnes. Let anyone feel pain? Lost? No. Christo. What should I do? How could this? Yeah, Broken. I can still fight. We also have Natalia. Oh, huh? Damn it. Seraphina. Lastly, kill you. Who, surprisingly, survived. So, let's see whether or not he can even do anything. And I don't believe so, but I will at least attack Carnage. <laughs> So, with that, I'm going to call this series to a close and put my controller down. 
I thank you for accompanying me through this journey through the Sky 5 Complete. It was very fun, and I enjoyed nearly every moment of it, even though I was somewhat frustrated at points with my own ineptitude on uh, certain aspects of the game, and with the game itself sometimes crashing, but nothing is ever perfect. So, episode 50 will be the last episode of Disgaea 5. I'm not sure whether I'll play any of the other Disgaea games. If I do, they'll most likely be the PC versions on Steam, which uh, there are only Disgaea 1 and Disgaea 2 out right now, which I believe that there will they will add 3, 4, and eventually 5 at some point. Uh, I'm not quite sure as to what the next game will be, but by the time this episode comes out, I will definitely have at least started the next game, uh, regardless of what it will be. So, on that note, Buddy Bison, signing out, and I hope you all have a very nice day.